Cody back here again with a, another video. I have another Vinyl Finds video. And uh, just to get straight into it, uh, first thing I'm going to show is a uh, EP45 of the uh, Beatles, uh, Baby It's You. There's uh, four songs on here. It's uh, Baby It's You, um, which uh, is uh, got John Lennon on vocals. Then we have uh, I'll Follow the Sun which has Paul McCartney on vocals. Uh, then also has Devil in Her Heart, which has George Harrison on vocals, and Boys, which of course is uh, Ringo Starr on vocals. And uh, Baby It's You, I believe, is a uh, song that's on the uh, BBC One, which came out in, uh, there's a copyright edit on this in, of 1995. So this is when that EP's from. I believe that's when BBC One also came out, was in 1995. Uh, so I uh, just found this a couple of weeks ago at uh, my flea market that I usually go to. It's on the uh, Apple label. So pretty cool to find uh, that just kind of out in the open. Now uh, going into uh, albums. Then uh, I probably don't have like a whole lot of albums really to show. I haven't really bought in a whole lot in the last couple of weeks. But... Uh, I have probably about nine albums to show, maybe maybe like eight, something like that. So uh, getting right into it, this is an album I picked up at uh, Odds and Ends down in uh, Shelbyville, Indiana. Uh, haven't I hadn't been there for a while, and they actually had changed locations. And uh, I mean, they didn't really like, go that far. It's like across the street from they originally were, but the building they're in is a little bit wider and bigger. So I went there and checked that out, and they had a, this is Nine Inch Nails, uh, Pretty Hate Machine. This is a reissue. I had it for pretty cheap, so I figured I might buy it. I'm not a huge Nine Inch Nails fan. Um, I enjoy some of their songs. I really do like uh, Head Like a Hole. I think that song's pretty solid, uh, which is on here. So I figured I might as well pick it up. And they're not like, I mean, the album's actually pretty solid, too. Then, uh... This past week, uh, the other record store that I usually uh, frequently visit, which I definitely, I probably hit this record store up, probably go to this record store probably like at least uh, once or twice a week, kind of depending on uh, what week and what day and what, what I'm doing. But uh, he's had a couple of sales going on, just kind of random. Uh, where one day he's like 20% off, and there's another day he's like 15% off, and uh, I had like 50% off t-shirts. Actually, I had an Alice Cooper t-shirt, uh, which is not near me. I should probably wear it, but instead I'm wearing this Led Zeppelin shirt, which I actually also got at the Vinyl Rescue Project a while ago. But uh, anyway, there's a couple albums I picked up uh, at the Vinyl Rescue Project with the uh, discount. The first one being uh, Mad Season, and it's uh, their one and only album. You know, the 1995 super group pretty much. I mean... Lane Staley from uh, 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 Alice in Chains is the uh, lead vocalist uh, on here. And, uh, I mean, it's just a great album. It's one that I've been wanting on vinyl for, vinyl for a while, and uh, I've been wanting this uh, reissue uh, for a while as well. I just never got around to picking it up. And uh, luckily, he had a copy in the store still, and uh, for 20% off, might as well uh, pick it up then. What better time than then? Than. But... Uh, the only really thing I don't like about this is the uh, cover, how the actual cover is just in this small little square, and there's this big black border around it. I wish the whole uh, cover was like that. I'm not a huge fan of when albums do that. I mean, the Blind Melon reissue, which I reviewed, uh, the cover is kind of like similar. Um, but, uh, I mean, the album's great, so I mean, that's just a little minor, very minor complaint. Uh, the quality of the albums are fantastic. I mean, it's a gatefold. Uh, there is like five bonus tracks on here, so that's kind of cool. They added uh, those, and I believe it's the uh, the lead vocalist of the Screaming Trees uh, do the uh, the bonus tracks, but and they're all they are really uh, pretty good. There's a pretty cool cover of uh, I Don't Want to Be a Soldier on here, which is a, another it's a bunch of a bonus track, which of course is originally a John Lennon song, and it's pretty cool to hear that one. But this is a, a great album for sure. Uh, Wake Up's a great song. It's a great opener. And, of course, River of Deceit, uh, which was, uh, I think, actually had a music video for that one back in the day. But uh, if you've never uh, heard Mad Season before, and if you like, like, Alice in the Chains, then I highly recommend checking them out. But 
But yeah, definitely glad I uh, was able to get that one and get 20% off on the uh, top of that. Then I also, uh, at the uh, same uh, cell, I also got uh, Pearl Jam, the reissue of 10. Uh, it's a, it is a gatefold, but I left it in the shrink wrap and just opened the sides. So there's not really anything to really see. Uh, the cover on this one's a little bit different than the original cover. The background color is a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't really bother me too much. But uh, the, uh, it does have two albums in it. It's got uh, the 10, the original uh, master, and this has a remaster uh, of the same songs. So it's kind of a cool, that it's kind of a nice companion to uh, put with the uh, original. But uh, I've listened to uh, the uh, the original Masters uh, vinyl on here probably like three times now. And I mean, it's a solid uh, sounding recording. Uh, the remaster I've listened to once and uh, it's not bad, but I prefer the original. It's what I'm more used to and it's what I'm usually going to go to every time I want to listen to this album. And I like Pearl Jam too. It's like... Uh, I'm not like the biggest Pearl Jam fan. Uh, this album and Versus uh, are very solid albums. Their albums after that, it's kind of like I could kind of do without. They're not necessarily terrible. Although the the last album they came out with, like last year, uh, I cannot I cannot bear to listen to that. I mean, I just didn't think it was. Uh, I feel like uh, they tried to change their sound too much and try to make it sound uh, too new. I guess you would say, but. This album in particular is a pretty solid uh, album from Pearl Jam, and uh, definitely happy to have the reissue. And it was, uh, with the discount, it ended up being pretty cheap too. So, and then uh, did get a couple things at uh, half price books, and uh, some guy must uh, uh, just traded in like a bunch of like '90s uh, like punk, because uh, I mean I got like three albums here to show that I'll. From half price books which i assume they are all probably from the same uh seller the first one being uh pennywise about time and i was uh, super psyched to be able to find this album and album i didn't really think i'd ever come across out uh from the like, day open um, but uh it was relatively cheap um definitely it's an original 1995 pressing it's got the uh the original uh insert with it right there and it's like it looks like it's never honestly even been played um, I mean I love Pennywise is probably one of my favorite 90s punk bands right up there with like the offspring and uh, definitely happy to have one of their albums uh, about time is a great album of theirs uh, I really wish I could find their first album on vinyl like hopefully in the open but uh, a great album great band and I also found AFI's second album very proud of you there as well and this one's actually on uh, colored vinyl it's on like a uh, kind of, it's kind of hard to tell depending it kind of looks different when you look at it through the light but I'd say it was a gray color but when I was like looking at it at half price books it kind of looked more brownish and even when I'm looking at it at the camera right now it kind of looks brownish but uh, Looking at it right now, it kind of is like a tint of gray, but uh, it looks cool. Uh, probably not my favorite AFI album, and the AFI, I mean, uh, not like super familiar with them. I don't listen to them all the time, but uh, I do enjoy them. And uh, the last album that I got at Half Price Books is uh, Bad Religion, and it's just a compilation album just from uh, some of the earlier stuff, too, about like 1992. Uh, nothing after that. I think there is two live songs from 1994 on here. But, uh, yeah, nothing too uh, special. And I actually didn't get this one the same time as I got those ones. They, this one was there, and I kind of decided to pass on it. And Half Price Books uh, on Monday, they had 40% off. So I ended up picking it up because it was still there. And when I was actually uh, picking at the uh, Pennywise and the uh, AFI, uh, someone was actually holding this one back. And uh, I guess they decided not to end up picking it up because I went in there on Monday, and it was uh, back in the uh, back in the case, and no one had picked it up. So I guess it just meant to be to pick it up. And so I ended up getting it for a relatively cheap, like super cheap, with the uh, forty percent off. So, uh, and that is an also a, that's also an original ninety five pressing, and the AFI was also an original nineteen ninety six uh, pressing. 
And then I have a couple of the last two albums I'm going to show are just a couple of things I bought off Discogs. First one being uh, Coolio's uh, Gangster's Paradise. And uh, I got this on Discogs from uh, the uh, buyer Used Grooves. And this is this is uh, as an actual record shop in, I think, uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania. But... Uh, Definitely, if you uh, if you're ever in the area on Discogs, I definitely uh, highly recommend the seller. Uh, fast shipping. I mean, it came and it's in fantastic shape still in the original shrink wrap. But uh, yeah, definitely happy to have this. I'm not like a huge uh, hip hop or rap fan, um, but this album in particular is just total like nostalgia. Uh, I mean, Coolio, uh, someone I've always kind of enjoyed, and I rem I can re remember this album coming out. I mean, I was like five years old, just had probably turned five years old when this came out, which I think uh, the anniversary, the 19-year anniversary of this album uh, is coming up in a couple of weeks, as is my birthday, so <laughs> me, me and this album are getting pretty old. But uh, it's total nostalgic for me. Uh, I love the title track on here, Gangster's Paradise. It's just a great song. I mean, this is back when rap was actually good and stuff that they play on the radio back then was actually good. I don't really listen to much uh, newer rap or hip hop today at all, and this is actually the only this is only the second uh, rap album that I have in my collection. The first one being is a it's a wrestling compilation of uh, th wrestling themes done by rap artists. So uh, obviously not not the biggest rap fan, but I definitely do uh, respect the uh, the rap of the the '80s and the '90s. It's a uh, pretty good pretty good stuff, uh, honestly, but. Uh, I can just remember uh, my brother, he, my brother owned the CD, and my brother's like three, three years older than me, so he was like eight at the time it came out, and my parents, they were pretty lenient on what we listened to, obviously, because they had to buy this for us, and they bought us uh, Gangster's Paradise on the uh, CD, and I, me I remember me and my brother listened to Gangster's Paradise, and, uh, so over and over again. I remember really enjoying the song uh, Too Hot a lot. I remember playing that one a lot. I mean, it's just, uh, it just brings back like, a lot of memories. I mean, Gangster's Paradise was actually my ringtone for like years, so I uh, definitely uh, put this in earlier and it just brought, brought back a lot of memories. So it's definitely more of a nostalgia buy. But uh, Coolio, definitely one of those uh, rap, rap artists that I enjoy, at least especially his early albums still today. But the uh, last album I'm going to show is also a uh, Discogs buy, which I was uh, really happy to uh, be able to find. And it is an original 1992 pressing of Allison Chain and Allison in Chains Dirt, if I could talk. And this is a, a Brazil uh, issue, a Brazil pressing of it. It's in uh, great shape. I was, uh, I mean, I really thought I got this for like a steal. And the uh, I was lucky, and the uh, buyer ended up being just in Chicago, so the shipping was like super cheap, it came here really quick. I had to have to actually buy it from someone in Brazil. And I'm not a big fan of like doing uh, overseas uh, transactions, but uh, I mean, if you have to, you have to, but I mean, I'm so impatient that I can't wait like two weeks for an album to come here, but this one came pretty quick. It's uh, on the Red Columbia label. And it's like near mint uh, too, so I was definitely happy to uh, be able to find that one. I mean, it's probably uh, probably a lot of people's favorite Allison in Chains album. There's like so many uh, great songs on here. I mean, just like and this also does have the original uh, liner notes in here as well but uh yeah, it's just a great album I actually if we might do a review on this one next when i get some time to do a review but uh i mean this is just I, like every song on here is like solid honestly if you've ever heard of uh, alice and james you've heard this album more than likely i mean it's like them bones um uh, damn that river uh rain when i die down in a hole sick man rooster which Rooster, my personal favorite Allison and Chain song. I absolutely love that song. Just a uh, really great song written by uh, Jerry Cottrell. And then uh, Side B starts with Junkhead, you have Dirt, Godsmack. 
Uh, hate to fill angry chair in uh, wood is the uh, closer. It's an all around uh, solid Allison and Chains album, and I mean I've gotten like really lucky this year with uh, with Allison and Chains as I found their uh, third album, uh, their self titled third album, at uh, Final Rescue Project. Someone turned it in and brought it in, and I ended up getting it for what I thought was a steal, but uh, definitely. Definitely happy with uh, finding that um, Discogs. And it's not definitely not the same as like finding it in, just out in the open in the store, but uh, I mean, I found it on there for relatively cheap, so uh, I figured I'd better pull the trigger. But uh, that's uh, all the albums that I have. And uh, so I, you know, I think this video's already gotten like way too long. I think it's almost like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna stop blabbering. Uh, I definitely give all those two thumbs up. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I should have, hopefully, another video up soon. Uh, like, comment. Uh, uh, yeah, just thanks for watching.